Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, about 20 past four here in the UK on Friday the 6th of November. And what a week it's been. Uh, very strong afternoon again uh, on the American stock market. Uh, market uh, six ticks off yesterday's uh, high. Uh, closed at about 35.10, the S&P yesterday. Uh, and so doing its best to clean and get through that 3,500 level. Uh, the uh, uh, short-term trend is up, the longer-term trend is up, uh, and uh, but the uh, foot has come off the pedal a little bit, uh, so uh, advances pretty much the same as declines. Uh, and uh, uh, if we look at the Vectorverse market timing chart, I'll pull that up, uh, as you can see we're pushing on these old highs, uh, and that's the February high, and that's the uh, one that's the twice, that's the third time, uh, and uh, my uh, mentor, Mr. Yan, would have said that it's going to break on the fourth attempt, so that looks quite strong to me. If we have a look, uh, that's what the market's done this week. It's been quite incredible. If we have a look at the medium-time market timing system that I'm following, uh, uh, that, in fact, gave a buy signal on the 3rd of uh, November, and we've had a couple of very strong days. Now the market looks a tad overbought to me up here. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see it pull back or at least go sideways for a couple of days uh, before any uh, further movement on the upside. Certainly an awful, an awful lot of resistance up there. That's what's called overhead resistance and it basically means that the chap who bought in February has spent all year getting his money back and as soon as he gets back up there again uh, he'll actually wipe the sweat off his brow and uh, take his money so uh, uh, so it'll take a while to get through that high that's for sure always uh, nice when you see a market trying to break on the fourth attempt so uh, that looks quite promising to me uh, so uh, I've, I've bought into a couple of stocks uh, uh, and uh, I'll uh, have a look at those now. Uh, apps I spoke about on Wednesday, Qdel I spoke about Wednesday, uh, Zoom uh, and uh, Newmont Mining. I like Newmont Mining uh, based on the gold price. It's up a little bit, not as much as I thought it would be. And I bought into Roku and Roku's had a really good move and it's a, a beautiful swing trade. I c it couldn't be in fact better. Let me take all the stuff off the chart and uh, for those of you that uh, have done any of my swing trading courses, uh, as you can see, the shares in the throws of a very strong trend uh, and uh, the 21 moving average is above the 55 moving average and it pulls back into the zone between the 21 and the 55. First thing we can see very easily is that this resistance has become support. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And uh, if we in fact uh, take a fib from let's say that low to that high we can see that that's a 50% retracement and uh, if we actually say we'll take it to that one, uh, it comes, or to this one I think, it comes out at a 38% retracement. And uh, when you're not quite sure which, which, where to take the fib from, uh, do two or three of them and see where they fit on top of each other. That's always a good sign. But uh, for me, I, I was reasonably happy uh, with that particular point. And as you can see, that's exactly 618 of that. And the next one is 50. And if we go down uh, to this furthest one, that's 38. So they're all sitting on top of each other. I think that was the best place to have taken the fib from there. At least that's what I thought. And as you can see, there's an even number there at 200 as well. Uh, if I put on my stochastic, uh, I can see that the stochastic in fact is oversold and is showing uh, what I refer to as reverse divergence where uh, this is falling, that's rising. That's a really good sign. And then uh, the uh, entry, uh, entry I was taught by George Lane himself, the guy who designed the stochastic. George always used to say uh, that the, if you can draw a trend line that's a great place to enter and as you can see uh, there was one trend line just there that I thought was appropriate and that's where I bought it uh, somewhere in here uh, yesterday prior to the news. I think that uh, there was another trend line that I was in fact working on which was this one and that in fact uh, I wasn't quite sure which one to use but that one gave an earlier signal 
uh, and uh, that was probably the best one to use this little trend line here so a uh, particularly good swing trade in Roku I think it's probably got a very very long way to go that share now uh, let's just have a look at the gold market for a second because the gold market and that's the bullion market and the bullion market has broken that these that 1938 level that I've been talking about for a very long time and uh, uh, that uh, uh, precipitated my entry into uh, Newman mining uh, now uh, uh, this is broken up so I think that uh, uh, this will be two closes up here and that's a very solid break of that level uh, I've been asked about gold shares from uh, quite a few people this afternoon and folks if you're new to this investment business uh, gold shares are very aggressive investments they've got they've got a mind of their own and they frequently in fact uh, uh, have to be managed uh, uh, and managed very carefully indeed a moment's weakness in a gold share can be a very expensive exercise uh, so but uh, they look good and certainly in the UK you don't have to look much further than uh, polymetal which had a very very good day broken out of a little double bottom formation uh, yesterday so uh, gold shares I think uh, if I were to put on a uh, measure a target for gold from here uh, using the fib retracement from there down to that low point and folks we can quite easily see uh, a move uh, the old highs at 2078 and if that old high got took out it can easily get to 2200 from here so if you've got the stomach for gold shares if you've got the uh, emotional resolve uh, to manage risk well uh, then I think there's an opportunity in gold shares at the moment Afrikaner lease uh, looks particularly good Caledonian mining looks particularly good in the UK uh, so uh, uh, let's move to the UK market itself and the UK market uh, looking strong green lights after the close yesterday uh, and uh, a nup up situation we still got a confirm down uh, and uh, uh, all uh, looking good it's been a very nervous few days for me in the UK market because I held my positions right through and uh, that seems to have worked so far uh, and uh, most of my positions are up. Now I need to add some gold, st uh, gold stock to this. I still haven't done that because I've been uh, working hard. I would like to put positions on on a Friday anyway. So I'll have a look at that first thing. So by the time the Q&A comes around on Monday afternoon, I should have added uh, probably polymetal and probably one smaller gold stock. I think i probably look at CMCL, Caledonian Mining, uh, for that smaller gold stock. Okay, uh, so uh, steady as she goes, I would not be so at all surprised to see uh, a bit of pullback from here before we go again, to have another leg back before we move up. Nevertheless, momentum is very strong, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, US market uh, uh, doing its best to break clear of that 3500 level. Again, Mr. Gann would say that it needs to break above the level by 12 and a half ticks. So if it gets above 35, 12, 35, 13, 35, 15, uh, with any luck, uh, we're moving higher. So let's see what happens in the second half of the US day. But all is good, uh, and we're now seeing a bit of green there again on the front page of VectorVest. So let's, uh, I, 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 I've had a feeling that we're going to see a, a, a strong run into Christmas in both markets, uh, both the UK and the US. And... Uh, uh, as I say, a nervous few days as I held all my UK stocks uh, over the uh, over the election period. Uh, I'm uh, slowly but surely building into the US stocks, and I, I say I've got four positions running and reasonably happy with them all. I showed you on Wednesday's video uh, how I found those uh, based on the VectorVest Unisearch, my Unisearch, the DEW Swingers. So if you have a look for that video. Uh, you should be able to see how I found those stocks. So I hope you find this useful. I'll have a Q&A for the VectorVest members uh, where we'll talk about all of this in a great deal of detail on Monday afternoon at half past one. Those of you that are not a VectorVest member that would like a, a guest invite to that, then just email me uh, david.paul, P-A-U-L, at VectorVest.com and I'll send you a guest invite. Or take a 30-day trial to VectorVest. It's only a fiver. Thanks very much. Bye.
Yeah.